say it. Whatever you want to have, say it. The power is in your mouth. Nobody can, nobody can decide anything. You are the one who decides what happens in your life. Not even God will stop you. Did you hear that? I said, not God will even stop you. You can decide the path you want to go. God is not going to stop you. If God would stop you, he would have stopped many from going to hell. God respects your will. What you decide, he leaves you with it. He will not violate your will. If you decide you choose death, God will say amen. You choose life, no problem. It's all up to you. When you have this understanding, you know that you are in charge. You are in control of things happening in your life. You make things happen. God is a creator and he created you to be a creator. One who can create things. The Bible says, through faith, we understand the worlds were framed by the word of God. That the things which appear were not made of things which do appear. I remember years ago, I shared with you about this faith thing. That the things you are seeing didn't come from things that you, you, you see. They say, you use money to make money. That's true physically. But the Bible says, God made things which appear from things which do not work. That means the tangible came from the intangible. Let me tell you something. Everybody look at me. Listen carefully what I'm going to share with you now. If you are rich in the intangibles in this life, you are truly rich. True riches is not in the tangibles. You didn't hear me. What I'm sharing with you is very powerful. I want you to get a hold of it so that you know what your investments are going to be. Invest in the intangibles. True riches is in the intangibles. Things you cannot see and things you cannot touch with your physical hands. That's where true riches are. True riches are not in the tangibles. What you see, they are only products of the intangibles. So a man's true wealth, a man's true riches, when I'm talking about true riches, they are not things you can see. It's not money, it's not silver, it's not gold. True riches are intangible. So you see that people who have money, physical money, a lot, are people who are rich in the intangibles. Look at their lives. What are the intangibles? Ideas, wisdom, knowledge, the anointing, faith. These are all intangibles. So look at people who are rich. You realize that they are rich in the intangibles. That's where the investment should be. A man who is truly rich is the man who is rich in the intangibles. Because the Bible says that in Hebrews 11, the things which appear were made out of things which do not appear. That means they came out from the intangible world. Instead of chasing shadows, chasing physical things, chasing money, go after the intangibles. Go after ideas. Go after relationships. That's currency. Hallelujah. Go after them. Be rich in these things. Go after the anointing. Go after the power of God. Go after faith. Go after relationship with God. Those things will produce wealth and it will produce abundance. It will produce health in your body like never before. I'm telling you. True riches is the intangible. A man named Solomon. God appeared to him and asked him, what do you want? He didn't ask for riches. I know many of you have asked for $1 million. The man asked for wisdom. The intangible. And God did not only give him wisdom, he gave him more than what he asked. I want you to take notice of that. If you see, the, look at the richest men in the world. They are rich in the intangibles. Courage. Courage is intangible. If you are going to be successful, you need a lot of courage. You need what? Because you are going to make certain decisions that can change and alter your life. And it will take courage to take such decisions. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. Praise God. 
intangibles. When I saw it, God showed that myself, wow, this is what investment should be. That's why you must read books. That's why you must listen to tapes. Be rich in these things. When the man who is rich in ideas will rule this world. This world is ruled by ideas. It's ruled by what? It's ruled by what? So those who are rich in ideas are the ones who are ruling you. It's as simple as that. You are chasing after shadow. People are going after the higher things that create the shadows that you are chasing. If you are not rich in your mind, if you are not rich in the intangibles, there's no way the money is going to come. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Yeah. Your words have power. What you speak is important. Practice prophecy sessions. There are times I just sit down and I just put my hands on my head. I could speak over my life for several minutes. Prayer. Sometimes a whole one hour just be prophesying to yourself. A whole one hour be saying, Yima, you are blessed. Adolf, you are blessed. Penny, you are going somewhere. Hallelujah. Say positive things. Make it and do it consistently. Those words will begin to create realities for you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You mention your name. Start speaking into your life. 